I'm E.B., a third year medical student at the Perlman School of Medicine. Don't forget, that's UPenn. And yes, we are an Ivy League institution. And yes, we were number three in the nation when I started. Although, we have since dropped to number nine. What the? University of Washington? Really? Today, you are coming with me on my internal medicine clerkship. This is a day in the life of a Penn Med student. prediction. Bavarian sleeping sickness? Well, actually, now that you mention it, cheese and crackers are red pass! Ugh, corn nuts! I'm going to see my first patient of the day! We are so close, we really love each other, I am so excited. For the first time, Mr. Gabagool? Get me a real hoagie! Go birds! Wow, people really love their sports in this town! And their hoagies! Okay, B.E., let's do some feedback on that patient encounter. Oh, um, actually, it's Evie. Okay, is that millennial slang? Because I don't really follow. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Now look, I know you think that patient encounter went really well, but the truth is that was one of the worst patient interactions I've ever seen in my 20 year career. Yeah, it was god awful. Like, have you ever seen Fergie do the national anthem? Never yet yeah, keep that in mind. So, I have a lot of critiques here, um, so we can start wherever you'd like. Also, uh, you got some lettuce in your hair. Well, that went poorly, but here to learn and time to work on my note. If I'm See hoagie thrown into provider's face. Med student, take off those glasses, you loser. Hoagie to the face, first time. We got a smart phrase for that. Let me show you. How's Ebi doing on her medicine clerkship? Who the fuck is Ebi? I'm off to rounds, folks! Every day we do this little bit called Who Are You and What's Your Role? And my line is, Hi, I'm Elizabeth, the med student. I've been on your service for four weeks. Then we all have a laugh. So great. Woo! I am tweaking balls off this bang! Alright, folks. We got like 20 patients. Don't care. Don't give a shit. Uh, how about Mr. D? Let's just cut to the assessment and plan. Oh, okay. Well, for Mr. D, problem number one is hyponatremia. Causes include hypovolemia, diuretic use, SIEDH, and psychogenic polydipsia. Uh, 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 trash! Good God, med student, you should tell us before you're going to make a joke so we can be sure to laugh. And also, take off that tiny white coat when you're around me. You look like a coconut peep. A peep? Damn it! Yes, a peep! The delicious, seasonally appropriate, bird-shaped candy. You look like one. Now... On my rounds, we like to look nice, like your resident Ed here. Dressed for success in a crisp Fendi onesie. Hit it, Ed. Can anybody? 
everybody on this godforsaken team tell me the causes of hyponatremia? Oh, awesome job, B.E. The answer is malingering, a Munchausen's by proxy, too lazy to go pee, okay? Ah, finally a working cortex on this team. Uh, BB, are you the med student on the team? I'm the nurse covering your patient, and there's literally gallons of human feces pouring under the door. I'm going on break. I'm going to need you to clean that shit up. Time to shine! Well, that was brutal, and I am sweating like a barnyard pig. Pro tip to clerkship students everywhere. Forgot your toiletry bag at home? No sweat. You can take a... T.O. anytime. Just go to the bathroom, pump a little glob of hand soap, take a little bird bath. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very refreshing. Oh, E.B., that girl has some real target sales rack energy. Like, nice Crocs, girl. Cheeseburger in paradise. On the Little known fact, one of the best parts about your internal medicine clerkship is the free and delicious lunch. I arrived a little bit late today, so I missed the solids, but I was able to score a whole cup of curry water. Yum! The interns told me I couldn't sit with them during didactics, but no worries, I found this nice, roomy supply closet. Little Harry Potter moment for yours truly. Ooh, so close. Come on! Is it weird that that girl reminds me of a f***ing peep? End of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. I'm about to go in to see my favorite patient. He just had surgery on his arm for a bad little case of Schuylkill River gangrene, but he should be doing fine now. Checky check! Hi, Mr. Sheboygenberg. Oh, it's good, good to see good you. To see you How too. are you feeling? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Group that when I'm feeling stressed, I should put two frozen baby carrots over my eyes. Look, all I'm saying is that when that girl gets to my inpatient psychiatry service, I'm keeping her behind double pane glass for her safety. Just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home. Oh. Well, home for the day. Time to tuck into a few hours of UWorld before bed. Aw, oh, come on! I didn't realize UWorld could give a red pass. Son of a bitch. Well, folks, this concludes another fun day on the wards. Now, for a little self-care nightcap I like to call Pillow Talk. Here we go! It's my time to rise. It's my time to shine. It's my time to live. It's my time